Today we're going to dyno test our one fifth scale supercharger. Hey, it's Bob with RB Innovations. Today's video, we're going to show you our dyno system. We're going to dyno an engine for you with our supercharger installed. We use the dyno to test a lot of engines before and after we make changes to them. That's to verify the results of the changes are an improvement to the engine performance. This is our inertia dyno that we use to test all of our products. It calculates horsepower based on the weight of the flywheel on the dyno. We're testing a 29cc ported Zenoa engine with a 990 carburetor. On our first stock run, we got 3.21 horsepower at about 12,500 RPM. Now we're going into our second stock test. We do multiple tests to make sure we're more accurate with our results. This second test run didn't vary much from the first run. This one came in at 3.19 at the 12,500 mark. So our average horsepower for the stock engine is 3.20. Now we're gonna test the same engine with no modifications. We're just gonna add our one fifth scale supercharger. On the first supercharger run, we went by the stock peak horsepower of 3.2 at only 10,500 RPM. It went on the peak at 4.24 horsepower at 13,700 RPM. This second supercharger run was very similar to the first, but it peaked out at 4.14 horsepower at 13,100 RPM making the supercharger's average peak horsepower 4.19. So to find the difference in horsepower, we're gonna take the 4.19 horsepower from the supercharged engine, subtracted by the 3.2 horsepower from the stock engine. It'll come out to be 0.99 horsepower, making the percent increase in horsepower 31%. So 31% increase in horsepower, very significant for these style engines. Typically the horsepower gains we see on most engines is 15 to 35 percent. Will vary depending on the engine, pipe, and any modifications you do to the engine. For more information, visit our website at rbinnovations.com, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching.